He should really come be here with us like every week. Yeah, no, because no, <laughs> all he's, he's just kissing ass today. That's what he's doing. <laughs> I'm Christian Bryant. And I'm Catherine Beek. People argue over things all the time. No, they don't. Yes, they do. See what I did there? And oftentimes, the physicians on either side are sound and deserve the media attention they receive. But other times, there are disputes that are just downright silly. This week's big arguments just happen to be on the more absurd side of things. First, we'd be remiss if we didn't touch on the so-called feud between Iggy Azalea and Britney <laughs> Spears on Twitter. I can't even hear that without. <laughs> giggling a little bit. A feud between those two. It all started after Azalea seemed to indicate that the reason their song Pretty Girls didn't do spectacular on the Billboard charts was because it wasn't promoted heavily. Some then said she threw Spears under the bus by tweeting, unfortunately, I'm just featured. Shade. That's what that is. Shade. Spears, who is the lead artist on the Pretty Girls track, then tweeted, so thankful I have shows for the rest of the year to look forward to. Burn. I like the finger Ooh. there. You, you had the finger <laughs> at up. At least I got shows to look forward to. <laughs> Many speculated this was a dig at the Australian hip hop star who, back in May, canceled her Great Escape tour. We should point out that Azalea later recanted on social media, saying she wasn't putting the blame on Spears. Oh, she walked them comments back right quick, though. <laughs> That's because Britney Spears went for the went for the leg she, sweep. Yeah, I was she sweeped say, the she leg. She kind of went for the jugular did. there. Yeah, not very nice, Britney. Next up, differences of opinion on how to properly load a dishwasher caused quite a stir. Definitely have to rearrange things when he does it. It's double the work. I have to say, I have no clue how to properly load a dishwasher. I'm gonna tell you what, I just kind of throw it all in. Yeah, is that what you do? Yep. I, oh, I overload my dishwasher all the time. It's a wonder that it still works. Like pots on top of plates, on top of pots. <laughs> it's a miracle anything gets clean. Don't tell my mother. <laughs> Probably the most important part of this debate. Should you pre-rinse the dishes before they go in the washer? Should you or shouldn't you? Do you know? You already know the answer. You wrote this, of course you know. So the Wall Street Journal looked to several appliance and detergent companies and discovered that, wait for it, Pre-rinsing is not necessary. It could probably help, but it's not necessary because so many of the machines nowadays are high, you know, energy high efficient. High energy, high, high, well, energy efficient. So no, they kind of already have it built high in. Energy. Yeah. Energy I, efficient, yes. What if you got that old janky stuff? You should probably completely wash your dishes okay. before you put them All in right. the dishwasher. Well, maybe I'll then. do that too. The publication also consulted Martha Stewart, who advised against putting china, nonstick pans, and knives in the dishwasher. We're guessing the 17 dishwashers inside 21 kitchens across her properties make her sort of an expert. Finally, chaos struck after the New York Times posted a recipe for guacamole that used sweet peas alongside the avocado. While some outlets seem to take the idea of guacamole with peas in stride. Others, like Jezebel, were extremely against the suggestion. You have something for me? I do, I do. All right, so, you wanna tell us what you got? Since I am conveniently allergic to avocado, <laughs> guacamole made with peas. So we got some sweet peas, just like- Did you drain them? Did you drain yes, those? Yes, there okay. are not pea juice in here. <laughs> so then we, here, hold that for a okay. second. <laughs> so we mushed some peas up into some already made avocado, and, okay. and you're gonna try it out. All right, look at this. Yeah. And so she's, she's already done the finished product. You're practically Rachel Ray today, so that's all right. Uh, so I'm, I'm just gonna grab a chip. Let's grab a chip. I'm 10 years old, and every time you say pee, I just have a little giggle. All right, let's see. We're gonna stick it in there. Right, here goes. Can you even tell? Not really. I mean, I know what sweet peas taste like, so this isn't bad. You asked if I could tell. Um, I can only tell because I know that it has like a, a sweeter a sweeter tinge to it. Try this out. Hold on. <laughs> that was awful. Mm, no, no do that again. No. I was joking. I was joking. No, this is good. This is really good. <laughs> it's actually good. This is fine. This is totally fine. You guys should give it a try. I, I'm not a, I'm not a pea guacamole advocate, but it's not bad. Not the worst thing ever. Not the worst thing ever. So. Thanks for sticking along for this. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Let me get another chip, girl. All right, last one. Woohoo! Then nice. you can. All right, we're done, guys. We're done.